in the remote village of Yabicho, located at the apex of Kenya-Ethiopia border, in Mandera North lies a tale of two neighboring clans who transformed their hatred, fight and killings for one another into one of the inspiring stories. At the heart of this transformative story, we are about to bring you place Zahra Bashir, a board member of the Network for Peace, Cohesion and Heritage Trust and the owner of a farm in the village who came up with an idea to initiate a collective farming project that will bring the two clans together. In 2013, 2016, we had uh, the Garrido with their clashes in Ramu. And the entire Mandara County, but Ramo was very severe. And uh, towards the end of the clashes, I found these people were too apart and there was no reconciliation or coming back together. So I, I thought of an idea of uh, feeding them and bringing uh, peace. Her effort to change the narrative of the violent inter-clan conflict that plagued Mandera County for years, fueled by competition over scarce resources, politics, poverty and severe drought, is a bold move that has cemented trust and enhances relations between once sworn enemies despite skepticism by others over her initiative. In 2016, we arranged for a meeting with the farmers I showed them an idea that they can work together, plant together, feed their children, and uh, bring peace. While I was uh, doing uh, the sensitization and talking, there were so many other people behind the curtain who were saying this is not going to be possible. How can the Degodias and the Gareth come together? It is over a dead body, it will never happen. Through extensive peace building efforts at the grassroots by the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, Interpeace a peace building program in Mandera County, where Zahra was steering the peace processes as a working group member. A noble initiative gained momentum and gathered interest from the wider community. I was nominated as a member of the working group for Interpeace and uh, NCIC in 2016, April. And uh, I gained a lot of knowledge through that, uh, peace building knowledge, uh, the workshops that I've been attending, I was able to come and uh, still talk to the farmers. And gradually we started with 13 members, uh, six from the Gare community, six, seven from the Dugodia community. Uh, we created a structure where we had a chairperson and then uh, the co-supporters and then the other farmers. So slowly by slowly they have cleared the farm, they started planting and then they harvested. Once they harvested and they got some food, uh, the others saw that this is workable and uh, uh, the communities can live together. So the number, the demand increased for the farm and uh, we had to expand the bush clearing. Through that, the land under irrigation or under planting now expanded from the bush from uh, six acres. Now we are utilizing close to 56 acres of the land. We started with 13 households, as I said, and now we have 56 households with all their livestock, especially the mothers. We have some people who came from the other side of Ethiopia. They were chased away because of the clashes. They were refugees and we had to accommodate them in this farm. So I really appreciate the, the efforts that have been put by the, uh, the Interpeace and NCIC in the Mandara North and especially in Ramo by talking to these people, bringing them together, showing the importance of peace and uh, through attending those meetings, even the farmers themselves, because they are part of the stakeholders, uh, we realized that they were the ones who are coming to talk to the other new farmers in the farm, that uh, those stories of uh, uh, communities fighting is no more. Ramo is a town and uh, we have seen that war is not very important. The conflicts are going to cause more harm than good. And uh, we were, they were able to sensitize their own. So my work also reduced from talking to them. Now it was just actual planting, harvesting and doing a lot, a little training and uh, peace talking. So the conflict outside has also reduced because people were starving and they wanted food. So we engaged them and they became so busy, very busy and uh, life has changed. 
with the fruits of the joint venture by the Gare and the Godia clan members becoming evident Zahra's model was emulated and neighboring farmers welcomed the initiative and opened their farms to more vulnerable clan members steaming more cohesion so men also emulated and uh, they also expanded their neighboring farms uh, majority we have uh, women here mothers some of them are widowed and they were saying at least because of uh, the peace stability they were also doing the intermarriages from both communities so they can strengthen the community uh, integration and coexistence of the community i as i as a member of the nepco board member of the nepco a member of the working group i feel uh, ncic and interpeace have done a very wonderful job and uh, now when if you ask these people in this area are you fearing or are you expecting something suppose a conflict happens they will say we don't want any war we are tired we have seen we have seen it is not very important so uh, what is very important is the community coexisting and living together zahra manages the projects through consensus among the farmers this go along with establishing rules of engagement to ensure peaceful coexistence and amicable sharing of the species and the farm produce independently owned by respective members of course we divide the farm it is 56 acres 56 acres each one of them has one acre measured 100 meters by 40 meters when we are sharing these uh, resources we just use the ballots they come and pick a number we write number one to number 56 so each one of them will put their hand in a in a pot and then pick a number once they pick that is now the area where they are going to plant as they plant uh, they prepare psychologically that they are going to one time harvest this farm and then bring the animals as we are speaking now we have harvested the farms we have uh, maize that has been uh, Uh, loaded into the vehicle we have uh, the camel different species of animals we have the cows we have the goats so many many of them down there we have so many many of them we have this lorry that is carrying so we have uh, 56 households close to 23 of them are from the dogodia community and the remaining are the garre community Many small local steps such as these joint farm projects contribute to more sustainable and locally driven peace building past trends of conflict spillovers from the neighboring Ethiopia border causing tension and fear of retaliation have been overcome through this project sometimes the, the war comes far from banisa it comes towards this area there is the fear so one community is the one that's going to be responsible taking care of the property of uh, the other so they have learned to live with each other uh, peacefully the bond between gare and degodia clans has been strengthened whereas the two clans used to fight over political resources in mandera north that is no longer the case the two clans now share the resources as evidenced by recent political marriage and sharing of leadership positions peace is the only solution they are now sharing resources even the political uh, when there was election time they voted the majority of the people in mandera north voted the mp from the other community that shows you that politically they are sharing even the resources when it comes to land issues there's no dispute sharing of uh, farms like now they are working together planting together harvesting together there's also intermarriage however the farmers have been limited to planting using flood water with the four consecutive failed rainy season presenting a looming danger Zahra believes there is need for more support to keep these beneficiaries hopes and livelihood alive. The farm has the potential to produce uh, more 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 agricultural produce not the maize that they are planting or the beans they are planting they can plant varieties of even fruit trees and uh, uh, other perennial crops but there are some limitations like uh, the pump sets we have the river rain here which uh, is seasonal but uh, we have a uh, nine months running water fresh running water where they can pump if they are only supported with the pump sets they are supported with the pipes they are supported with the fuel and then maybe uh, the mechanization itself we need even the tractor for plowing 
and then uh, some kind of uh, training. Uh, we know they are going to produce throughout the year and they will be self-sufficient. We will have some income in their pockets, uh, food on the table and uh, creation of employment. Children will go to school. This project is a testament to the power of resilience, social cohesion and trust building in bringing together communities torn apart by conflict. It highlights the best practices for inter-community collaboration in creating and managing sustainable farming activities and it inspires other communities seeking to replicate this a kind of joint initiative. I feel so good, so wow, when I see mothers coming and hugging me and telling me, wow, I'm surviving because of you. My animals would have gone long time, my kids would have not gone to school, but all this has been achieved through you. So I feel so good and I say it is possible, we can expand the neighboring farms. This is a life testimony from the farmers here and uh, if it is taken to the, expanded to other regions, I'm telling you, peace will prevail, there will be food security and there will be a lot of joy and everyone will live a happy life. So many lives have been transformed, children have gone to school, some got their certificates from the colleges, so that is my happiest moments that I have.